So I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with the Fab 360 robots. I'd go ahead and mechanize a couple of them. Of course, they not only can walk forward, they can be made to walk backwards also. Let's see, that would be this one back here. So, what I'd been hoping to do today is I started a print last night so I could actually put one together in front of you so you could all see how it works, but unfortunately, the uh, Bowden connector on my Inacubic i3 Mega blew apart. Gee, it was just two weeks ago I had one blow apart on my little monster and uh, woke up the next morning with filament all over the floor and that's what I woke up with this morning here, about eight hours worth of filament piled all over the, the floor because it kept extruding it but not putting it to the hot end because the Bowden connector blew apart. So I got this far before it failed but I can give you a rough idea of you know what goes together. Keeping with their idea of printing with uh, no supports and no rafts I designed a part where I could take this little motor and it snaps right into this housing with no glue there's a snap support there and you put a cam on each side and then these slip on the cams then you drop this whole thing if you were to fold this body if it had completed you would have folded the sides and the backs around and this whole thing would sit right down in there like that and the cams of course would uh, go down into the legs like that and when you, once you fold the top down the, the head it hits these little notches which locks this in place so the whole thing gets locked together without any glue or anything you do have to solder the two wires onto the motor and then I added a hole in the back for that to come out in order to get the push rods to move to the legs I did have to uh, mod the legs you can see I made them much much fatter and I also made them solid provided uh, a slot all the way through just like this slot you see here for the cam to go in everything else about the robot is still the same the arms are positionable went ahead and printed some uh, clear domes using poly smooth which you then vapor treat to uh, get as clear as possible threw a little paint on it for details and some metal eyelets for the eyes um, also just printed their most recent one, the smoking robot one. This is in a translucent red with a poly smooth dome. What's cool about this is they added a mechanical effect. When you move the switch on the front, it moves the dial. That's kind of cool. Uh, what else do I want to say? I think maybe that's about it. This is the kind of thing I would normally just put up on uh, Thingiverse for all of you to build that might want to build it, but since this is based on uh, their artwork, their their files. I won't do that unless they give me permission or maybe they would like to provide it to uh, people that have downloaded their products. If so, just Fab360 reach out and let me know. I'll give you the files. You can do whatever you want with it or give me permission to share the files and I'll, I'll do that. But uh, just thought I'd have a little fun with it. I like making things walk. I'm not really into static stuff. So you can back up, we can go forward. As far as the remote goes, this is just from a dollar store toy. If you can't find a dollar store toy or something at a garage sale to get any battery pack from, then you can buy just a 2AA battery pack with an on-off switch on it on eBay and in just about any other electronics place online. So for a buck or less, you can, you can buy just a remote. Or if you've got an old toy or have a dollar store or have a yard sale, you can pick up a small remote. say everything is still positionable their arms and joints and all that stuff still works I say I was hoping to have snapped one together for you but uh, didn't work out I am going to try to salvage this print because there was so much time in it what I've done is I've measured the height that it uh, failed at and I've got the machine in there printing right now the top part and I'll try gluing the missing parts on and see if I can complete it oh you can see also I had to I hollowed out the head to make room for the uh, for the motor because when it all snaps together the motor actually is uh, up inside the head there 
the uh, and a cubic is back running and like I said trying to finish up just the top parts we'll see how that goes In this particular case it wasn't the uh, the fitting up here that blew apart it was the fitting right here that blew apart if you watched my little monster one, then you'll know that the fitting on the little monster was the one down on the hot end that blew apart. It doesn't really matter if the fitting it comes apart, though. I mean, your filament's no longer going to be forced down there. It just looped out in this whole area in here. As you can see by this rough wrapper, I just spun it back on there. It was nothing but filament. Gotta love that. Oh, there's the phone. Gotta go. Talk to you guys later.